Hi Crusher, the advanced annual video course has just been updated. In this course, you will learn how to use GMB Crush, the ins and outs of optimizing a Google business listing, from conducting an initial audit and take the ranking of your list to the next SEO level. See how to leverage the GMB Crush features to create SEO optimization plans and take advantage of competitors' data to surpass them and dominate your local business niche. In this advanced version of the Money Science Training, you will learn best practices to outrank your competitors in local searches, empowering your business profile by building relevant geo signals. You'll also get SEO secrets that move the needle and stretch listings proximity. In addition, we will be adding new videos training from time to time for all of our yearly user subscribers. So make sure you stay tuned in order not to miss any updates on what's happening on board. Module 1 In this episode, we'll be talking about how to use the My GMB section of GMB Crush in order for you to track results and metrics that matter the most. The My GMB section will help you get a better understanding of what is going on with your business and how it can be improved. In short, 1. Connect all of your official properties on GMB Crush. 2. Get instant access to a powerful zero-effort reporting tool with one click. 3. Stay on top of your game by tracking 11 high-ranking impact behavioral metrics from a simple yet insightful US. 4. See how much of an impact you make on ROI at your fingertips. Module 2. In this episode, we'll be talking about user signals. User signals are behavioral patterns that Google uses to rank business listings. When these actions continue through different geographies, then it will impact how high up your listing shows up across multiple locations. In short, 1. See why engagement is one of the most important factors in Google's ranking algorithm. 2. See how to improve your listing's behavioral signals. Module 3. In this episode, we will show you how to use the power of GMB Crushed to conduct in-depth SEO audits on any Google business listing. The audit feature is powered by the GMB Miner section of GMB Crush and allows users to identify hidden SEO factors influencing the local three-pack to unleash an optimized shareable SEO plan in less than five minutes. In short, 1. See why the algorithm is favoring certain listings. 2. Manage SEO audit requests in a breeze and share ready-to-execute SEO plans. 3. Find competitors' weaknesses and capitalize on them. Module 4. Compare your chosen MyGMB listing and see how it stacks up against the top businesses dominating a local three-pack. Understand why a certain cluster of categories association works best in relation not only with the business listing but also when it comes down to content on your website. In short, 1. Find category opportunities. 2. Find a unique angle to optimize your business categories. Module 5. As Google search results become more personalized and voice searches are becoming increasingly popular, having a closer look to these attributes will be even more important in ensuring that users can find what they need without wading through pages and pages of irrelevant options. In short, 1. Review your top three competitors' listings and implement those missed elements to increase ranking of your business listing overall. 2. See insights into how certain business attributes are linked with local three-pack. Module 6. In this episode, we will see more in detail how to connect all the dots around search centroids and competitors' locations using zip code insights from the wizard audit document. Optimize your About Me Google profile, so you can empower your business page and rank higher following the right optimization steps. In short, gain insights into 1. How far your business is located from the group of businesses that are ranking in the top 10 positions. 2. How many local businesses with the same zip code as yours are ranking in the top 10 and top 3 positions. 3. The zip code percentage over the top 10 results. 4. The zip code difficulty score, see how tough it will be for your business to succeed in the same areas where you're located. 5. How to create a professional trustworthy Google profile to empower your business listing. Module 7. In this episode, we will see more in detail how to pick up relevant geographical details that Google already associated with a certain area so you can build powerful geosignals and expand your proximity. In short, gain insights into 1. How to rank in cities where you don't have an address. 2. 
How to use Google tools to geotag your videos and pictures. 3. How to create direction signals and let Google associate it with your account. 4. How to create hyperlocal signals mirroring the most prominent zip code locations found in the wizard audit document of GMB Crush. 5. How we ranked our listing on spot number 1, nationwide, for our primary keyword. Module 8. In this episode, we will see more in detail the GMB post audit section of GMB Crush. You'll gain insights into how much and when your top three competitors are posting on their business listings, which could give you a competitive edge. In short, gain insights into 1. The post frequency between posts. 2. How often each listing is posting. 3. The total post count over the last 90 days. 4. How to approach your business post content creation strategy with a clear plan in mind. 5. How to reverse engineer Google Ad and Google Search Console data to skyrocket your business posts into the next level. 6. Which keywords your reviews should include to mirror the top three results. Module 9. In this episode, we'll see more in detail all of the other sections of the wizard audit document, such as reviews audit section, business title, and description analysis. In short, gain insights into 1. The gap in terms of reviews and ratings between your own listing versus your competitor listings. 2. How often a business or a listing gets reviews based on a scale of the last 20 reviews. 3. When competitors are stuffing keywords in their business titles and how many characters they can fit. 4. Which keywords opportunities are being missed out on by not including them as part of your business listing description. 5. The metrics that matter most for understanding how popular, trustworthy the sites in the audit are. Module 10. In this episode, we'll see more in detail the opening hours and the summary section and the to-do list. In short, gain insights into 1. When clients are most active and open to new opportunities. 2. When other businesses are most active and open to new opportunities. 3. When there's a high influx of clients searching for your product or services. 4. The average score for a company to rank over the top 10 and third place. 5. The average click-through rate over the top three results. 6. How to set goals, summarize what needs to be done, and create battle plans that can get clients excited about your services. Module 11. In this video, we will see more in detail how to create a quick pitch deck proposal and then associate it with any wizard audit of your choice. This way, you can drive prospects through showing them where they stand compared to their competition, as well as highlight what changes would help take them up another level when ranking online. In short, gain insights into 1. How to use data to make your pitches irrefutable. 2. How to position yourself as the person or the agency that can solve your prospect's SEO visibility problem. 3. How to say goodbye to screenshots and attachments out preaching potential prospects. Module 12. In this video, I will give you several tips on how to take advantage of zip code data to compete organically on all those geolocations where you have no active GMB GBP properties. Module 13. In this video module, I will show you how to create a discovery campaign through YouTube ad, targeting users who have visited the sites of your local competitors. The goal here is to drive paid traffic directly to your My Business list, thus increasing all engagement metrics. Module 14. In this training, I will teach you how to reverse engineer your top competitors' photos. You'll find out how many photos competitors have posted and which photos are receiving the most engagement on their lists. In addition, we will see which are the latest published pictures and how to find photos similar to these top performing ones and how to keep track of all this information. I remind you that this new video training module is part of the advanced GMB ranking course for all annual users. For more information, follow the link in the description or in the first pinned comment. We will be adding new videos training from time to time, so please make sure you stay tuned in order not to miss any updates on what's happening on board. You can also search the GMB Crushers group on Facebook and follow us on YouTube, so tunes will keep coming your way. Thank you again for watching and see you in the next video.